graphing vertical lines. When we look at this example here, we see 2x plus 6 equals 0, and we notice, uh-oh, there's no uh, y term in here. There's just x's. And when you have a situation like that where either the y term or the x term is missing, the best thing to do is to take the expression 2x, okay, oops, we get a little better, plus, plus 6 equals 0, and solve for the variable that you do have. So that's 2x, of course, equals negative 6, right? And x would then equal uh, negative 3. So what we're thinking about is we're going to graph the line x. I'm going to put a circle around this. x equals negative 3. And what this tells me is that x is a negative 3 no matter what y equals, because there's no y here. So if I say, well, what happens when y is 0? Well, x equals negative 3. What happens when y is 4? Well, x equals negative 3. Do you see what I mean? It's always equals. This is really the line. Often you'll see it in this form, by the way. But if it isn't, you put it in this form. And then maybe if with y equals negative 2, well, x equals negative 3. Notice that x always equals negative 3 no matter what y equals. And that's what this means. This really says x equals negative 3 no matter what y equals. So now I can plot these points, right? I can go x is negative 3, 1, 2, 3, and y is 0. Well, that's right here. And x equals negative 3, and y is 1, 2, 3, 4, and x is negative 3. There it is, OK? And x equals negative 3, and y equals negative 2. Negative 3 down 2. And notice what we have here when we, when we uh, connect these points. We have a vertical line that goes through the uh, point x equals negative 3 on the x-axis. I can get a better line than that, I think.